We welcome the teams under the stage. One has two, and one has three. And we uh, welcome the panel of educators for the grand final round. We have myself, Krista, Hanu, Leon, Daud, Adam, Ariel. I'll keep it. And we'll be chairing the Novice Grand Final Rock is your former Novice Grand uh, Novice Champion of IFA 2018, Myron Dalia from the Am I audible? First of all, let me make the debate clear by defining what stoicism means. The stoicism means that is the endurance of pain or hardship without display of feelings nor complaint. The, the moment when you are sad, the moment when you regret something, the moment that you are feel, uh, the moment when you're feeling um, not so good, uh, it's you, you are not supposed to express it or complain to other people, ladies and gentlemen. On our here as the government of the house is very clear. We believe that if impoverished, impoverished people express their pain or their sadness, their regret, it will lead them to nowhere. Because we believe that if they express 
their feelings, or their sad feelings or regrets and so on and so forth. Other people will see these impoverished people or, indivi or uh, as individuals who just complaining without even work hard to uplift their social class, ladies and gentlemen. These people will think that you are deserve, de deserving because you're, you have no effort to uplift your to uplift your quality of life, ladies and gentlemen. That, that's why we believe that we should, uh, we, um, uh, we believe that impoverished people should and subscribe to stoicism. First of all, let me characterize um, what imp uh, impoverished areas. Impoverished areas is uh, there are a lot of uh, poor people and previous people, right? And we believe that uh, that happen doesn't necessarily mean that it, the blame is all on government, ladies and gentlemen. We believe that there is also uh, there is also um, that happen also because. Um, your, you have no effort to uplift your to uplift your quality of life. And second of all, we believe that impoverished areas uh, have uh, jobs. Jobs that exist in impoverished areas are jobs that need physical strength, like like laborers, farmers, and so on and so forth. These are jobs that uh, these are jobs are these jobs are jobs that are so hard. That, that are so hard and require a lot of energy and, and so on and so forth. The moment that the moment that uh, they are complaining and overly express their feelings, that is the moment they cannot do their job properly, ladies and gentlemen. They cannot focus because they keep pity themselves. Uh, they keep blaming the system. They keep blaming the government, and it's problematic because the jobs are the only options for those impoverished people. We believe that um, the moment when the moment when they are keep complaining, they cannot focus to do their job properly. And it will lead, and it will worsening their condition, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we, as the government side of the house, we don't want that. So, moving on into my substantive material, is why stoicism will lead major, uh, will lead impoverished uh, community uh, to a better life. We believe that the moment you complain, it will make you even more lazy, lazy to be productive. You start to think that no matter no matter how hard you work, it's not going to change anything. When the fact you can change. Uh, you can uh, you cannot uh, uh, you can change anything you 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 can change your life to become a better life you keep blaming the government and you you, you are not evaluating yourself you can focus uh, the moment when you can focus uh, you can focus to work hard if you stop we believe that you can focus to work hard if you stop complaining and if you stop overly express your sadness and regrets it will it will not if we believe that if you keep complaining it will not uh, going to motivate you it will just make you insecure and lead you to not work to not want to working hard it is problematic because you have family that you that uh, that that their primary needs need to be provided ladies and gentlemen you need you you have to provide your kids or your wife or your husband food shelter and so on and so forth and you need to provide and the and the only way to get to get that is you have to work hard. You need to earn money, ladies and gentlemen. So we believe that by complaining will not going uh, to lead this uh, impoverished people uh, to a better life. It, let me compare in here. Is in our side if we said if we said if we fail instead of. Uh, um, we are going to uh, motivate ourselves. Maybe there's something that I need to change. We do not blame others. We we are not complain. We are not complaining, and we only focus to evaluate to evaluate our, ourselves to become better and better lives. We only focus to work hard because we because we are not blaming anyone. In their side, you will just focus on blaming the system. For example, the, uh, for example, uh, the government also. While in the status quo, government already provides you free education, free healthcare, open job fields, and so on and so forth. You are never satisfied in their sides. You're not going. You're not going to evaluate yourself when you are in, even when you are in the wrong. You uh, uh, even when you are in the wrong, you are going to blame other people. We believe that even if uh, the system is wrong, the government is wrong. For example, you uh, the government will not help you because you yourself, uh, because government see that you do not work hard, you just complaining, you do not work hard to uplift you, and government will not change to society that are that do not have credibility, ladies and gentlemen. So we believe that uh, we believe that our side uh, is uh, going. Uh, is better to uh, is going to uh, engage with governments uh, better, ladies and gentlemen. So in here also, we both uh, we both should agree that there is a way that going to help us to to help these impoverished people, right? But in our side, it will be better because they will sympathize more because they see us as a person 
as a person that is still work hard even though our life is pitiful and simple, even our life is unprivileged and so on and so forth. They are amazed how our pitiful situation didn't make us complaining and still in so much a spirit to work hard to provide our family and so on and so forth. This, this uh, incentivizes SJW to help us even more. For example, for example, you can see in the status quo why there are so many people uh, are, are more willing to help Gojek drivers, for example, rather than beggars, because they see that Gojek drivers, even though they have, uh, they, even though they live in an unprivileged life, they still they still uh, work hard to provide their family and so on and so forth. It's, it's different with uh, why people are not uh, less likely to help beggars because they just complaining, they asking money for random people and not doing anything and so on and so forth. That's why we believe that. Uh, that's why we believe that if you work hard and focus to work hard, uh, it will lead, uh, it will lead uh, to a better conditions of yourself. In comparison, uh, uh, in comparison, in their side, SJW will less likely to help to help because they they, they don't see uh, they don't see no effort in you. They don't see no uh, uh, they don't see any effort in you to uplift your to uplift your uh, your life, ladies and gentlemen. So, as the government side of the house, we exp we have explained clearly why impoverished uh, impoverished people should subscribe to stoicism because first, uh, government will most likely to engage with you if you work hard uh, and, and, and if you if you if you work hard and also, and also we touched the SJW will most likely to help us because we uh, we we have seen as a per, as a as an individuals even though we are in unprivileged situations we are still work hard and also we have explained to you why uh, why these impoverished uh, people are are I are will we lead them to a better life if they subscribe to the stoicism. Based on these reasons, you all should vote for the government side of the house. Ladies and gentlemen, if you sad, if I sad, I want to cry. If I happy, I want to laugh. If I am, if I am happy, I want to tell the other. Like, I am happy. I want them to know my feeling. I want to express my feeling because I have a right to show my feeling. Right? Okay. So the government side, of the government side of the house keep, government side of the house keep on focusing about complain while we notice notice that the motion did not limit it into only complain ladies and gentlemen it is also talking about showing your feeling whether it is you talking to your friends for example or you talking to your parents or the other the other things for example you talk to the government like you feel like you are not enough in this kind of particular situation so on and so far the government didn't notice about those particular things so all of their points Come into come into only focusing to the complaint, ladies and gentlemen. First rebuttal: the government side of the house say that complaint will make you make you hard to find a job. We say no; these kind of particular things will not happen because when you are, for example, you are, you are. You are you are, you are in the job field, for example. You will not tell, for example, the one that the one. Uh, you will not, for example, tell the manager that, for example, you 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 have a bad feeling, so on and so forth. But you will tell your feeling to to those particular person that you feel you are comfortable with. You will not tell you will not tell strangers, for example, so on and so forth. You will tell th those particular people that are connected to your problem. You will tell some people that you are believed to them, ladies and gentlemen. You will only tell those particular people, not every single people that you have. So. 
the, their argument become irrelevant in this, in this debate. Second rebuttal, they also say that co complaining will make you feel, it will make you unproductive. We say no, complaining will make you productive. Because why? Be because when you are complaining, you will, you will set the mindset of, in your mind like you are not enough in this kind of particular situation. Hence why you want to change those situations. When you want to change the situation, you want to be better, you want to be better. Hence why you want to be pro more productive. So their point about that couldn't be counted in this debate. Third rebuttal, they also say that the, the that the government already provide enough system, for example, like education in school, healthcare, so on and so forth. We say no, it is not enough. See, in the current status quo, for example, the medicine between the poor and the rich are different. There's a differentiation when you use BPJS and you pay with your cash. There's a difference, differentiation in medicine, for example. And in your school, for example, if your child couldn't buy the things that their friends able to buy, they will they will get bullied, so on and so forth. Hence why their argument about this is couldn't be counted in this debate, ladies and gentlemen. Third rebuttal, they say that SJW will help so on and so far we say no how could SJW notice that you are in suffering when you didn't tell them ladies and gentlemen when when you when you didn't tell them they will not know hence why you you should have you should you should have you should have the the things that you should be able to see your voices and you should be able to show like you have a bad thing so on and so forth. For example, we could see in the current status quo, for example, like a Gojek driver. In, in this, it, is real, it is really viral in, this, in, in the social media, for example, a Gojek driver tells to their passengers that they have a problem in their home so on and so forth. And then those particular passengers uh, make a donation, for, for example, for these Gojek drivers. And in the end of the day, these Gojek drivers will get the solution for their problem, ladies and gentlemen. This show to you that society could care to you if you tell them that you have a problem they couldn't know that if you didn't tell tell those particular things to them ladies and gentlemen okay so i will i will reset this debate by saying that by saying that what is exactly impoverished community first they are live in a rural area ladies and gentlemen meaning that they are really really hard to get for example uh, to get a clean water so on and so far they they are suffering ladies and gentlemen second understand how suffering they are how hard they get food for example proper education proper life so on and so far third most likely the government didn't care about them because why when government care about them they will not become impoverished community when government care about them they will not suffering because government will give give them for example give them a proper school so on and so forth but they didn't give them ladies and gentlemen that's why they are suffering fourth they are in high risk of crim criminality meaning that they meaning that there is also, there is so many criminal that happen in their in their community five fifth is they are minority they are oppressed they are they are they are they are discriminated ladies and gentlemen because they are minority for example hence why they should have the right to speak up ladies and gentlemen because they are oppressed they are oppressed by those particular society ladies and gentlemen second what is exactly normal human being ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen normal human being is for example first if you cry you will a normal human being have a characterization like if you cry you will find someone to talk with then you your pain will realize release why, ladies and gentlemen? Because when you share your story to other people, for example, if you have a problem in your relationship and then you tell your best friends, you oh, you you will feel like my pain is serious because they will g give you, for example, some advice on and so forth. They will try to help you, ladies and gentlemen. Even if, for example, they will say that in this impoverished community, when they are complaining like I I I am really hard to gain food on and so forth, they will not help you. But at the very least, you have a platform to share your story. You have a platform to release your pain, ladies and gentlemen. Because a normal human being have a characterization that when you share your feeling, you will feel better. You will feel better, ladies and gentlemen, because you feel like there is the other people that will care to you there's other people that notice that you are you are suffering second if you are if you are declining your pain you hide your pain you will you will manipulate in your mind like it is okay it is okay to be like this it is my condition i should accept this i should accept this on and so far and so you will not become productive you will not try to be better because you feel like you are enough in this condition this is the condition that you should exhibit this is the condition that you are belonging to be those particular people at the center while we while we say when you are impoverished when you are suffering you should change ladies and gentlemen it is really important for you to change because the moment when you are not trying to change yourself you will be you will be those particular person forever in your life you, your child will be suffering your grandchild will suffering so on and so far ladies and gentlemen third is it in the long term they will be unproductive ladies and gentlemen when you feel enough you will not you will not try to change your condition you feel like you should accept your condition and so on and so far 
Next, it's, you will be less likely to adapt, adaptive, ladies and gentlemen. Understand, in this era, you need to be better. You need to change. You need to change. Understand how, because the conditions in this world are changed, ladies and gentlemen, and you can't feel, you can't stay in your condition because, because in this globalization era, you should, you should make a differentiation. For example, you should learn about technologies and so on and so forth. But when you feel like you are enough, when you say that you are enough with this kind of particular condition, you will not try to, for example, to learn about the technology, so on and so forth. You will not try to, for example, to, to gain a scholar, to go to school, so on and so forth. You will not try, you will not try to, to, to gain a better, better condition for yourself. And so you will not become adaptive. And in the end of the day, you will not be changed. You will, you will still be become a poor forever ladies and gentlemen first first arg uh, uh, next argument how it will be better for individual fulfillment in terms of how every individual have right to express themselves and second if you are declining your pain you hide your pain you will try to feel like it is okay you will not you will you will not try to change ladies and gentlemen even when the government say it will not bring material benefit like no friends will not give you money for example understand that it is not exclusive because that motion happened under impoverished area meaning that to fulfill their own need already hard adapt uh, exactly helping the other will be harder ladies and gentlemen so when they say that it when they say that even when you tell your friends you have a problem so on and so forth they will not help you but it is also not exclusive because in their side those kind of particular conditions will still happen ladies and gentlemen hence why you are pro to oppose They say it's okay to express our feelings, so that is why it can create a sympathy, so that is why it will create, a, for example, other people will try to sympathy to you, the government will try to hurt you, so they, in the end of the day, they will help from your uh, poor condition, ladies and gentlemen. But they never try to explain to us what kinds of the mechanism, then, then why their voices that coming from their complaint, that they're blaming to the government, will be most likely be accepted to the government, ladies and gentlemen. We say to you, that what most likely that will be happen that coming from their complaint it will be problematic ladies and gentlemen because most likely the protest and also the blaming that coming from this impoverished community will only do protests we will only do demonstrations because it's all coming from the tension that the poor condition that they feel since the very first beginning ladies and gentlemen what they will try to demand to the government is only because I get less salary for example I get less of education uh, because also they have less educations so that is why in the end of the day they will have a bad advocacy it's different with the activism movement ladies and gentlemen they are big minority it's okay for them to to express their feeling for example because because of this minority there are still people that are still progressive for example they still have a good education background ladies and gentlemen so that is why we think that the, what most likely that will be happen is only will create a chaos that will that will not showing the cooperativeness that coming from this impoverished community for to the government itself, ladies and gentlemen. In our side, we say to you, in a current status quo, uh, our government is not also that evil. They also already try to provide a good things for the society. For example, government always try to change the system, for example, for the sake of to simplify. Or So that's why all the facilitated that they try to provide for the society can be more accessible to the society, ladies and gentlemen. They try to, for example, to simplify the administration process, for example, 
So that is why even in poverty community that even not understand about the uh, structural, for example, also can following the demand itself. And also they say about the point of the freedom of express. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's very uh, not really in, a big, in, in that debatable because we have to, we also have to consider it's it's okay for you to hide your to hide your insecurity because this in insecurity can affect to another stakeholders uh, direct uh, affect to their performer, for example. Then also the way of people uh, transfer your uh, your expression, for example, it can be very diverse, and they never try to explain to us why this manifestation of their expression will always be interpreted into something that should be directly to be responses, ladies and gentlemen. Two major point if my argument. First, why the stoicism itself will lead majority in, in impoverished community will have a better survivability. Second argument, why it will bring the better prosperity to impoverished, uh, to impoverished community. First point, why stoicism will lead to majority impoverished community. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the the problem that they suffer in the first beginning is that they have work that demand them to have a very uh, strong physical power. They they have a they have a working they have a very long working time and also probably they only pay for or only for a very small amount of money, ladies and gentlemen. Why it is harmful to express all of this burden and also to express all of these things to to another uh, to another people for example because it's very reluctant for you to feel pain because it's very uh, easy for you to feel hopeless for example because your work for probably you will always feel that it's not fulfill your expectation and even you will feel guilty the worst case scenario is that if you still trying to blame and also protest it can trigger you for example in a worst case scenario you can quit out from your for your from your work for example because uns unsatisfaction in in your side it will always stay there Ladies and gentlemen, we think it's very harmful if it's happened because in impoverished community, we believe that it's also have a uh, major uh, ma uh, many family, for example. You still have family that only rely on your work, for example, as a leader of family, for example, and also the, your fa uh, and also your insecurity itself that you try to express. It can even hamper your family, for example, because this family also will feel will try, for example, to force themselves to help you, which we think that is even will harm because there your for example you should also want to get study, for example, in a school, ladies and gentlemen. So that is why in our our side, your survivability will be better because it will give you more endurance to st to be survived in that very poor condition, ladies and gentlemen. Your evaluation will be more focused uh, to for uh, for the sake of your self development to have a better work, ladies and gentlemen. Be, uh, because because in their side, your evaluation will not be centered on you because you will always try to blame the system, for example, or even blame the other people around you, or even blame your previous family that not pro provide you the proper education for example and, and 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 also in our side at least by this evaluation at least this family this impoverished community can still have work can still have activity that they can pursue in the end of the day to to to, to get income for example or even to uh, fix their life ladies and gentlemen and also in our side in conclusion is is still better because this endurance having to survive and or and or even to find more power ladies and gentlemen second argument why it will still Still bring the prosperity to the impoverished community. Ladies and gentlemen, this, uh, there are two things that we need in this prosperity. First, how the society, all, uh, how, uh, how the society also uh, capability, and second of all, uh, on how also this society uh, have the good corporate, uh, good cooperative between the impoverished and also the government. We, ladies and gentlemen, have to, we already concede to you that there will be always help that, ca that will trans manifest to this community. And also why this help will be good in our side? Because they see your struggle, because, because your community also explicit be seen by the society that you are poor. You're really easy, uh, their impoverished community is, uh, is easy to identify by the government. So, the, so that is why, to begin with, the government is actually uh, can manifest their help. Because also there is existing of the program of community service, for example. And also the sympathy and empathy will be more likely to be happen because they see you as people that very low, uh, that very have a uh, 
a very a strong faith, for example, because you do not try to blame another stakeholders. Ladies and gentlemen, in the, in response also to their point about the freedom of uh, 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 about the justification of freedom of express, we see that it's harm for you to express this kind of feeling because you're express you're most likely also express it to your neighborhood, for example, ladies and gentlemen. And why it is harm? Because most likely the more around people around you also suffer the common the common structure, ladies and gentlemen. It's harms because it cre it can uh, uh, it. It, 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 it all it it goods in our side if you try to uh, spread this stoicism this stoicism because it also can create a better bonding between you and your community ladies and gentlemen you will have the relationship that very supportive that it's okay for us to get uh, uh, only small amount of money for example at least as long as we can live for example ladies and gentlemen in their side it will be bad because without this stoicism co uh, 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 condition it will create an conducive community it will not create a good image of community communal perspective ladies and gentlemen it will not create a good demand even if the, the even if in their side they say that okay we uh, we we being for uh, we being anarchists for example at least we get help we say it will be not a good help ladies and gentlemen because the demand that coming from you we, uh, you you will uh, you their perspective you will uh, you there's tendency that you will not be feel thankful for example and so on so forth because you always want to try uh, you will always want to try get something that uh, over beyond your capability for example so that is why we prove to you why it's still uh, giving uh, better survivability second of all why the prosperity also will still exist in our side Pro propose this motion thank you Stoicism doesn't equal to emotional stability, ladies and gentlemen. The very nature of human being is that you cannot hold feelings forever, that you cannot constantly repress every kind of feeling that you have, because it is inaccessible for every single individual to begin with. The other side of the house have to explain the accessibility of this uh, of this stoicism to begin with, because human nature is completely complex ladies and gentlemen you cannot over generalize the capacity of individuals to constantly repress their feelings to begin with there are some people who born expressive and someone who inherently only fulfilled if they are trying to express their feeling to other individuals this is something that they never engage under the side of the house few rebuttals in my speech number one uh, on their idea of you cannot you cannot improve your social letters because people see you as highly dramatic because you are always complaining and etc. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, expressing yourself doesn't mean that it will be manifested in a dramatic way, right? It can also be rational and strategic. For example, you would tell it to certain people that you trust, for example, your families, for example, or your close friends, for example, ladies and gentlemen. And also, it will be more. It, it, it can also be manifested in a rational way because, moreover, if you are if you are being over dramatic in your job, for example, you tell everyone. Of course, you will get shame and you will. You lose your job to begin with ladies and gentlemen therefore this uh, stoicism does not uh, this this is can also be rational under our side of the house second rebuttals is how uh, complaining is equal to non-productive and not working hard ladies and gentlemen this is not true right because 
you have to you have to analyze how complaining works in current status quo. For example, you complain about something only when you work hard or you feel that you deserve to get those particular satisfactions result to begin with. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, complaining me is coming when you think that you can reach that particular goals, but there is systematic oppressions or any other externalities that prevent you from getting into that, ladies and gentlemen. And complaining is positive anyway. Why? Because sometimes if you are working hard every day you constantly go to job and home and every day you sometimes feeling so so bored and you want just want to express and you want f f someone to hear how your uh, your your uh, suffering ladies and gentlemen and moreover stoicism is actually not limited to complaining any uh, complaining only the side of the house is highly contingent you this freedom of expressions is highly contingent upon complaining stoicism meaning that you are trying to repress all kind of emotions and you, you don't express it to anything ladies and gentlemen there's out of the house only explaining about complaining anyway there is other alternative for you to express your happiness to begin with ladies and gentlemen and also they say that these people's uh, notions will be, will be manifested in demonstrations and bad advocacy to begin with we say that yes probably it will be like that but the, notice that the characterizations of these impoverished people is that they don't have access to deliver it in a sophisticated way for example parliament discussions and any other things the only alternative that they can get it through demonstrations for example or to tell and to go to the street for example because that is the only thing that they can get ladies and gentlemen the all the closest alternative for their message to be conveyed they never they never engage to this to these characterizations and also they say that government is already progressive providing educations and other things number one this is not true because there is still people who have to cross rivers to go to schools for example there is certain area that is untouchable by the government ladies and gentlemen they have to engage to these people and also even if this this government is actually already progressive to begin with yes exactly this is why we can report our message ladies and gentlemen because they are most likely going to hear our voices ladies and gentlemen if they are progressive and try to capture all layers of society in my speech i will talk about how i will extend about uh on how this is will lead to better development as a whole of the nation ladies and gentlemen we think that this development is really really important because it is the interest of every government to bring welfare and equality to all people in their country there is already an effort by this government for example providing uh, for example facility and other for example scholarships and any and, 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 and of the only any of those things but this is simply cannot touch everyone right this is simply cannot accessible for every single individuals and notice how development works in current status quo right if you want something to build in your village for example it is based on how you can be vocal and you can report it to your government ladies and gentlemen in order for the government to actually respond it and building for example a bridge for example when bridge for example to help the children to go to school for example government simply works by if you can provide you can actually uh, you can actually tell them and you can actually be expressive ladies and gentlemen and also how it will look like under the side of the house um, stoicism does not mean that you, you you will deliver it in riots and any other things right it can also be in a form of discussions on the grassroots level on how uh, you you share to your neighbor about how you feeling bad about the current environment of your village for example or any other burden on your daily life this is this is this message will continue to for example your patriarchs or the leader of your village for example this is the, how the discussions will actually create it under our side of the house right and also this gentlemen in order for other facilities like for example hospitals and schools to be built it needs reports from from you ladies and gentlemen because most likely the characterizations of this impoverished society in terms of health for example they did not have facility like ho proper hospital for example they morally seek to alternative like alternative um, uh, medications for example they go to dukun for example and any other those kind of things ladies and gentlemen in order for them to help because simply they are in conservation area is what Tori already characterized to you in the very first place and also this gentlemen in comparison under the side of the house when these individuals are trying to be uh, repress every kind of feelings that they have they will less like they will most likely to isolate themselves and not trying to engage to the government ladies and gentlemen they will set rules for example to 
for other, for example, foreigners to not in, to get inside their village, for example, because simply they just want to live by themselves and accept everything that they have in current status quo, right? And also, second analysis on this is how there is a systematic barrier in current status quo for you to enter certain jobs, for example. Ladies and gentlemen, if you constantly uh, hold your feelings, this will lead you to always normalize every kind of feelings that you have, and it will lead you to always be silent and everything, ladies and gentlemen. This is, leads you to least, become less productive because you, you set limit to yourself that I cannot do this, ladies and gentlemen, and I just fulfill to everything that they, I have right now. This is the thing that restrict you from getting to certain job, for example, because to, to get job, uh, the interview is in the interview they value you based your on ability to be vocal for example or how you are full of expression ladies and gentlemen on how you can for example report something and responsive ladies and gentlemen this is the characterizations that you can that that you can be an employment in certain uh, in certain uh, companies ladies and gentlemen and also this will lead you to let to be less productive right Less adaptive, right? Notice that the world in current status quo is already moving so fast. The technology investment advancement is already moving uh, faster more than ever. In the last one decade, is the biggest jump over of history, ladies and gentlemen. This is really, really harmful if these people cannot keeping up to those kind of things. Price is currently rising, ladies and gentlemen. Life demands, life demands you to always uh, have a proper job for example to fulfill your need ladies and gentlemen this life demands is some externalities that you cannot control at the end of the day ladies and gentlemen therefore you need to fight in relation gentlemen and try to be expressed to get jobs and as i explained to you to begin with in the worst case scenario even if they cannot success we think that at least someone will be informed by those kind of notions in the very first place we are proud to oppose this motion Members of the House, our stance is very clear. We believe that if impoverished community constantly complain about their own circumstances, it will lead them to nowhere. Our end goal is that if people refrain from complaining too much, it will lead them to have uh, incentives to uplift their own conditions and their, their circumstances because they have the ability to evaluate themselves. Our burden of proof is to prove to you why people will have the incentives and the intentions to do better, but we don't, but we don't have the burden of proof to prove to you why poor people have the access to uplift their own conditions. In, in my speech, I'm going to talk about two things. Is stoicism good or harmful? And uh, the development of poor people. Going to, the, going to the first class, let's engage to what government side house says. They say that complaining will make people to be more aware of poor people conditions. Panels, the condition of poor people is less likely to be to be to be implicit, ladies and gentlemen. It's less likely for for people to see uh, for people to not see that you are poor because when you are poor, there are physical proofs, ladies and gentlemen. It's different when you are discriminated or oppressed. But it's different when you are discriminated or oppressed. So their case about to gain awareness is not their main concern because exposure towards this well off already exists to begin with. For example, the existence of poverty porn. Pay attention to their case. All of their premises only revolves, only revolves around awareness, speak up. Yes, we understand that you have the right to speak up to express your own emotion, but what's most urgent here is to uplift your own condition, ladies and gentlemen. Speak up doesn't matter if no one wants to engage with you. No one will listen to you, ladies and gentlemen. We already explained to you that their best case scenario about gaining awareness can still be happening in our side house because when you have credibility, when you have accountability, people want to engage with you. People want to invest on you, ladies and gentlemen. The Never proof to, to us why in the South House, why poor people, uh, why in South people in power want to, want to engage with them. Never con consider the characterization of poor, poor people being un un uneducated, irrational, and etc. Also, the characterization about talking to your friends is irrelevant because what's the outcome with talking to your friends? Nothing. They will just listen to your problem, but they will just listen to your problem, but they will never try to help you anyway. But also, they, they never prove why in their why in their by expressing emotions will gain advantage and will gain help from the people in power, ladies and gentlemen. 
they also say that people cannot refrain their emotions and it's not justified, it's un unfair to uh, subscribe stoicism. Exactly because people are vulnerable to begin with, the harm of that, ex the harm of expressing emotions will be worse on their side, ladies and gentlemen. Those if those emotions still prolongs, it will lead to it will lead to irrationality. That's why poor people always blame the government, but never realize that they that they have the option to prove people wrong ladies and gentlemen that's why poor people are radical to begin with because they excessively use their emotions without trying to without trying to re without trying to realize their own pro own problem secondly uh, and also they said government is oppressive that they will not help people if the world that they try to defend that government is oppressive and authoritative their benefits will not fly anyway ladies and gentlemen. their awareness will not exist because if government is that oppressive if our uh, government is that oppressive, they will try to retaliate more to you for for complaining and blaming the government. Even if government oppressive in outside the house, oppressive government will still have the tendency to be engaged with people that are poor because if our benefits fly and poor people have the incentive to be credible, government government will try to engage you, engage you with you and invest on you because they have interest to be interest to begin with so at least you gain benefits so at least you gain at aids and fundings uh, ladies ladies and gentlemen in in comparison to our our side of the house the moment when you live in a world where proper, uh, people constantly complain and express their emotion constantly we say it will it will it just will lead them to have no incentive to to try to do better why is that so because when you try to complain and expressing your feelings the manifestation of it constantly blaming people blaming yourself blaming your parents for not giving you enough money blaming Blaming your husband for not having a stable job, you never try to seek your own solution how to, to turn your table. So you will just try to blame other people. Why constant blaming happens? Because poor people have tendency to be irrational, meaning that the only thing they, they want is an instant solvency on their, their or problem. That's why unemployment happens, exists to begin with, because they are accustomed to the narrative that the, the elitists or people will try to help you or government will, be, government will try to engage with you, in which it's going to be worse if that, that if that the, 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 manif the manifestation of complaining and expressing emotions still prolongs. And also, poor people have the tendency to be un un uneducated. What's that, what does this lead to? Because when you are uneducated, those complaints will be those complaints will, will not be merit based man. This is bad because poor people will be accustomed to the irrationality. They will just try to complain to the government without seeking any solution, without evaluating themselves. Because what happens when it's that the moment you complain, it's less likely for the pe people in power to engage with you. Because they because they, when they see you complaining without seeing you try to develop yourself, they will not engage with you because because they will not to try to in, uh, engage with you because they they see that if they invest on you. Poor people will take the help for granted. This scenario exists on status quo in a way, this man. In comparison to stoicism, the moment when you endure your pain, the moment when you refrain yourself from complaining or blaming the other, uh, the other people or yourself, you will reach a point of clarity where you will try to evaluate yourself, man. Where you will try to seek your own solution to uplift your own condi condition. It will make you to have the incentive to do more because you feel that the only people that you can depend on is to yourself only, this man. That's reason. That's that's the reason why most people don't want to engage with poor people because they are accustomed to the narrative that people will always try to help me that's why they are lazy to begin with because they, they are dependent for example to charity uh, and, and 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 donations and also in uh, and also uh, we already we already we already proved to you that by by in, by subscribing to stoicism will will lead them will lead people to be uh, credible uh, have the incentive to do more to be credible uh, we 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 already proved to you that we already proved to you that even if even in oppressive governance the, our benefits will still fly anyway, ladies and Their side of the house, their side of the house uh, never proves that why, even if in oppressive governance, people will try to engage with them anyway. Let's talk about uh, second class, the, de the development of poor people. We already told you that by subscribing to stoicism, it will lead you to have the incentive to do more, to work more. But let me paint you another scenario what happens when you try to blame other people. What happens when you try to blame your husband for not buying you uh, lavish stuff? You will constantly blame your husband man, for not having a stable job. What happens then? You your husband will feel the press, man. Your husband will feel the press. Will fight with your husband, and your con and and your and your relationship with your husband is not going to be ideal. It's not going to be harmonic because you will because you, because you you constantly fight 
we constantly fight towards each other. But even if by complaining it will make you to have benefit, it's still not ideal because you because you will be dependent on the narrative that at the end of the day, people will help you. This is the characteristic of poor people to begin with. And this happens in the status quo where they where they where poor people where poor people depending on the where poor people depending on other people, ladies and without ever trying to seek their own solution. Our best case scenario that people is that people have more incentive to be accountable. But let me explain you why it's most likely to happen. Because the moment when you succeed to do more and better, what that shows to you? Perseverance, endurance, and strength management. This shows to you that poor people will they have the ability and credibility. And what does this lead to? People want to engage with you, people want to invest you. This is this is also in line with in the manifestation principle of giving scholarship to the least well off is to see which one have more credibility which one which one which one have more credibility which one that is most likely to survive in the real world this man in our uh, in in their in in their side of the house they never try to prove to you why why complaining will, uh, why complaining will gain benefits why the, why people will want to engage with their complaints we already proved that even uh, we already engaged to their scenario about different emotions it will lead it will lead to the worst case scenario in which irrationality and radicalization happens. Vote for this side of UNHAS. Ladies and gentlemen, these people sorry. are. Oh, sorry. I'm okay. Sorry. Before we continue the debate, I think I would like to remind uh, all of the contest contestants to become like more mindful regarding their wording, regarding uh, when you are defending your argument. I think you need to like um, become more mindful whether or not your arguments are because your arguments are like highly related with like one of the most vulnerable part of the society. So like, I just encourage all of you to become more mindful and like reflect back to the choice of wording and also like uh, the choice of expressions that you might use. So you become more like politically because Thank you. Let's start uh, with your Ladies and gentlemen, these people are are being oppressed daily. These people are facing adversities daily. These people's needs are not being catered. There and no people on this earth deserve these kinds of condition. Hence why staying silent and accepting the condition and praying to whatever it is there is to miraculously help you is not the way to get out of these kinds of conditions, right? Therefore, in today's debate should be talking about that we opting to scoicism or not will help the improv improvised area, right? So before I move into my clashes, in independent responses towards the government side of the house, they said that it is exclusive on their side because endurance will only exist on their side. We said that endurance in endurance is not exclusive on their side because endurance only exists when you have emotional stability. When you actually, uh, when you uh, actually just keep it to yourself, all of the burdens that you uh, are facing facing each day to yourself that is not an emotional stability because it will cause you a self-blaming and even uh, self-blaming insecurities and stuff and on the very worst case it can lead you to depression ladies and gentlemen therefore we said that endurance can only can also exist it is not exclusive because it exists also on our side because the moment we speak up we actually relating to other people that other people ha also have the same insecurities as us therefore we said that this, the moment we know that other people have the same insecurities same burden with us we are more stable to begin with because i we feel like oh i am also uh, i am not the only one who feels like this therefore we said that endurance also exists on our side so moving on towards the, the clashes into this debate right so which side can actually uplift the situation of the improvised improvised society and also the second is uh which side will be uh, will will be bring benefit and not a harm right so they said that scoitism will actually uplift their situation right we said that 
focusing or because they said that focusing on complaining will be lack of self affiliation and gonna be unproductive therefore government won't help you and society won't sympathize with you we said that we said that sco uh, not opting to scoitism does not mean that we are complaining ladies and gentlemen we are not complaining we are just picking up saying that this and this burdens me in the status quo right this and this do not uh, actually support me uh, support support me right therefore we said that it is not a complaint but rather than it is actually a evaluation onto the government on onto the other actors in itself right so we said that these people are doing actually doing effort in their daily life. They are doing their job day to day, even from mornings to mornings. For example, right in those kinds of area when uh, the typical jobs in those kinds of area, like uh, let's say like uh, those uh, underprivileged uh, privileged job, like uh, opening small shops in traditional market and stuff. Those kinds of jobs are very hard to begin with and they also uh, do their work from mornings to mornings ladies and gentlemen and the reason why they cannot actually uh, opt into a job that is higher level right because first they lack of education right even if on their govern on government of the house they are defending that government has given us free education yes we can see it that there has been an effort from the government that the government is actually uh, more progressive because uh, they have already conceded this, but the existence of, of the abundance of this impoverished society in status quo that actually shows to you that government has failed to actually cater all areas because the amount of free education that the government uh, gives to us is actually limited and mostly only free uh, uh, and on and also mostly onto the uh, high, the highest level that the government cater uh, actually just. Uh, for the high school right but we and we said it is still not enough be, to actually give you a proper uh, proper job and privileged job job right and also the second layer is that the lack of development in this impoverished area right government fails to develop these kinds of area right which means the availability of the job is limited and even if there there are let's say they they can say that oh you can choose other alternatives like moving to the city or moving to the more prosperous area but we say that they cannot these kinds of people cannot actually move there because they they have no capital to begin with right they have actually a uh, they, they therefore they are stuck in those kinds of area and there is no job available right therefore they have to stuck on those jobs right so comparatively on our side comparatively on our side we said that uh, the the moment you we said that the moment you actually voice out what is happening in your kind of area right uh Iksan has already give you that we actually can uh gonna gain the sympathy towards the the towards the community or oh, and the second second thing that they said that activist community will more likely to help you right because, because they their reason is because they see your effort and endurance facing the oppressions daily right but First of all, this kinds of community does not know you exist. Considering impoverished community is a minority thing, right? Therefore, you actually need first you need exposure to you need expo you need to expose yourself that I am here and I, I am suffering right now. Therefore, therefore for other external actor to know you, you have have actually to speak up and express how much oppression you have to face every single day, sufferings you have to endure every single day. Therefore, we said that, the, uh, and also Ixan has already told you the ways that these impoverished communities has picked up through, through not through parliament, but through demonstrations or discussions on the grassroots le level, right? We said, and the, the third speaker has already tried to engage that, that uh, it is not a uh, effect it is not strategic for for these kinds of community to do demonstration because they are mo they are most likely to be radical right but we said that no they are not going to be that radical because first uh, they the moment when they are being radical right they are they will be seen as antagonists therefore they wouldn't get the sympathy from these activists uh, from this activist community or even from the government and the second they are minorities right the moment they try to be radical that means they are 
uh, like declaring declaring war within the local society, right? And because they are minorities, the likelihood of them winning are not going to be there, and the likelihood of them of them of them their needs to be catered are not going to be there, right? So, and also we said that. Um, the, by demonstrating, right? We said that the government are going to know what is your needs, uh, and also, even if the government still not catering to that case, we said that that is okay because at least we have grabbed the we have grabbed the society's attention. The media can cover us, and also the. It is very important to actually get the uh, attention of the society because notice that society is actually very progressive these days, right? The society uh, are not only caring about the majority needs, but also society, because they are progressive, they also care about the minorities' needs, right? Therefore, when we uh, actually catch the attention of the society and we gain their sympathy, we said that they can actually help us because Society has a lot of ways, like right, like uh, community or making uh, trends on social media and raising awareness of other people to actually help us or raising funds to actually help us, right? Therefore, we said that uh, it is exclusive on our side, right? So moving on towards the second, because of those reasons, we are so proud to propose. I think the biggest problems in the proposition side of the house is they never engage to how the characterizations of impoverished society, which they which they didn't always trying to deny under the side of the house since the very beginning of this debate, ladies and gentlemen. They, they just in the first beginning of the debate, they try to engage to how they live in their work, their daily life in works, for example, which is the the job itself is coming from the middle class society jobs such as working in the office and etc. But I think we already engaged to that anyway, and also and gentlemen, they never engage to the gravity of the problems and always try to deny on these people are at this society are actually uh, already progressive and any other things that they say in this debate. And also, their their whole argumentation is highly contingent to complaints, right? We are the one who offers you so many characterizations of emotions that these individuals actually have, such as, for example, you are being sad in, in daily life, for example, you just want to tell your friends and any other of those kind of emotions that they just only runs in the context of complaints. And also, outside of the house already prof prove to you how individual fulfillment will be much more achieved under our side of the house because because under their side of the house they deny the accessibility of these stoicisms that really turn to every single individuals and will every individuals no matter how in, in what personality they born they can access it through that ladies and gentlemen they, they, they side of the house really being denial to these kind of things and also we already rebut about how it's the endurance can only be exist under side, their side of the house our side of the house because simply these people are not machine that you that operates every day usually when you are tired you just want to talk to everyone like to someone ladies and gentlemen for you to get emotional relief and to back to work again ladies and gentlemen that is already rebut by stephanie ladies and gentlemen and also our side of the house is the only thing that can engage to how it will be better in terms of development in how it in how in current status quo the life demands is really really rising the price is skyrocketing and there is systematic barriers for see people to enter certain jobs for example simply ladies and gentlemen their side of the house only playing on the ground of government cannot cater you because they see you as radical but they never engage to how government can actually cater you under the side of the house right there's 
their, their, their main case is not ne never engaged to this anyway. Under some of the house, we provide you the mechanisms on there will be the grassroots discussions or even to the extent of demonstrations that we already justify is okay because it is the closest alternative that they have and which is something that will gain attention from this government and also the local society to begin with. And also, we, al we already uh, engage to how these people can be adaptive to begin with, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of uh, keeping up with the tech, tech advancement and price highly rising, the price that is highly rising, ladies and gentlemen. These people can only be adaptive under our side of the house if they if they uh, urge for uh, if they urge for development from the government. And also, sympathy can, all, can only exist under the side of the house. Their case is only talking about SJWs will help them without any reports and any other things. But our side of the house. This SJWs can only work if they get reports, right? If they are, if these SJWs are that progressive, they will they will only respond to something that already being reported, ladies and gentlemen. That if you are speaking up, ladies and gentlemen, if you are telling your stories, for example, in in order for it to be spread in the social media such as Twitter and etc. This is how you gain sympathy from SJWs. Their side of the house never explain how the mechanizations of how this sympathy will, be, will be exist under for this progressive society to begin with. Therefore, it will be wise for you to vote for the opposition side of the house. Thank you. I think this debate should win the team that can able to, um, to explain to you the way of how the feasibility of the discussion of the uh, expression that you want to express to the government that is feasible to be here to the government in a good way, ladies and gentlemen. In their side of the house, we see there's a lot of uh, like explanation of the process, like on how you're blaming and even you're complaining and also all of the things that you try to see, to, to, to say to the society will be heard, ladies and gentlemen. And also, they never try to explain to us why you're complaining in that conditions is, is, is something that exclusive because in your condition, because in their conditions is very reluctant to create, the, uh, to, to, to create, uh, to create a harming process, a uh, harming protest and so on and so forth, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, so that is why we believe that in their side will not create will not create a, a, a be most better conducive for the society itself and also one may one minor of clashes which showing the progress or whether the the government are the progressive or not progressive ladies and gentlemen they say to you many example and also we say to you many example but we say to you they never try to engage why the, uh, the changeable of the government is still bad until in the end of the day we say to you that the changeable of this uh, of the government still have still have their uh, they're still showing the good intention from the government to provide a better welfare for their society ladies and gentlemen their only where their only uh, base case scenario that there, there there will be a good discussion that will be happen and then uh, through these discussions and also your expressing feeling to to do one and another uh, actors will be here to by, will be heard by the government itself but we have already framed it uh, frame it in a fair beginning that your that these poverty conditions can is is feasible to identify by our government ladies and gentlemen they understand that that that, 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 that they still have society that living in an impoverished community because it's something that explicit that all of society can see in the current status quo we say to you that it will uh, uh, we say to you that it will not be that good because we say that they will have no capability to show uh, uh, this impoverished community uh, have unprivileged conditions that they very hard to show to express their feeling they concede that the only uh, that the only thing that they access is through pro, uh, is to is through demonstrations which we which we say is very hard ladies and gentlemen we say to you through this through this narrative if we prefer to 
prefer to this it will create a better communal perspective that you don't need to harming yourself first in a very harming uh, uh, in very in a very harm actions in the way ladies and gentlemen in our side we uh, we prefer to you to keep working on you for yourself first to provide a better life for yourself first so that's why in the end of the day at least you also have the government uh, you also also have the government to to for them to easy to help you because you also have your uh, determine uh, you also have your uh, own spirit to continue your life for example ladies and gentlemen so that is why we think that their goal will not ever be achieved with that kinds of mechanism because uh, because we we have already told you that that way of showing the expressions is very harming from themselves first it's okay for you to hide this insecurity has our has already told you ladies and gentlemen because most likely what will be happen it will be a create uh, attention among the society because you feel the same severity so this way it's very easy to, to trigger the emotion that coming from this community uh, impoverished community ladies and gentlemen at least in our side we prove to you how the how the mechanism through this narrative you will be able to express in a, in a good way and also government will concede to help you since you are still their society so that is why to close my speech i believe that the winner of this novice grand final goes to unhas thank you